hello everybody so today we are going to solve a lead code weekly contest 428 and problem number c count beautifully split in array so read the statement first and before watching the solution make sure that you have already tried the question so that you will be understand it very quickly so the problem statement is saying that we have given an array nums and we have to split it into three parts such that uh, either the nums1 is the prefix of nums2 or the nums2 is the prefix of nums3 and we have to return the number of ways to split this array so let's understand it so if we split into uh, 1 and then 1 2 and then 1 so that nums1 is the prefix of nums2 that is 1 2 so it is the valid split and if we split into 1 1 and 2 1 it is also a valid split as nums1 is the prefix of nums2 so we have to return 2 and similarly in this case there is no any number which is prefix of other so there is no valid splits so we have to return 0 so we can solve it using all trying all possible splits and checking each time if either nums1 is the prefix of nums2 or the nums2 is the prefix of nums3 and counting each time and then we can simply return the number of ways so the brute force method is simply a time complexity of order of n cube which is not going to be accepted so we have to think some better approach and which can say that we have to solve it in o of n square and then only it will going to accept it so i have to check the valid split so i have to make to for loop to check all possible split so i can i trade two for loops for every splits and i have to check each time that if either the nums1 is the prefix of nums2 or the nums2 is the prefix of nums3 okay so what is the time complexity of checking function in the brute force way it is giving the time complexity order of n so can there is some method to reduce it to o of n to the o of 1 and that is the hint to this question how we can reduce the check function uh, which is checking either nums1 is the prefix of nums2 or the nums2 is the prefix of num3 so this is the tricky way in this question how we can reduce the check function from nums of one n to nums of one okay so the hint to the question is the rolling hash so i will be using rolling has to check the prefix of any subarray of another subarray in just o of one so for this rolling has if you don't know the rolling has function then you can simply check in the internet how rolling has is done so for this we have to define a base field which is generally taken as the any prime integer and I have to also define the modulus value as mod let's suppose mod which is a very large number let's suppose 1 is 10 raised for 7 9 plus 7 and uh, for this I have to split into three parts so I have to make two for loops which is let's suppose i equal to 1 2 i is less than n minus 1 2 i plus plus and int j will be equal to i plus 1 j is less than n j plus plus and this two for loops gives me three subarrays so the first subarray will be from 0 to i minus 1 my second subarray will be from um, i to j minus 1 and my third subarray will be from j to n minus 1 okay these are all three subarrays which is valid is split or no i have to check it 
so each time i will check that if the hash value of this subarray what is 0 to i minus 1 if this is equal to equal to the get hash value of this subarray means having the same length as this i will check hash value of this subarray in this array so if it is equal then i can count the number of ways else if i can also check the get has value of second subarray which is i j minus 1 which is equal to equal to get has in the nums 3 or the subarray 3 okay if this is equal then also i can increase the counter and finally i have to return the count value this is the my way to solve this question and now uh, this has value have the same length as this but it is should be shifted from this this subarray i have to search has value in this subarray so it will value from i to i plus i minus 1 it have the same length as in this subarray which is searching in this summary and in this case also i have to check from j to j plus j minus 1 minus i okay if this is equal and then we can increase the counter now i have to make a get hash function okay let's define a lambda function in this code as get hash which is giving me the hash value so it is taking basically two pointer as l comma r and it will return a long long value as it may be very large okay so i have to return some values so before that i have to make the values hash values so to define it i will make a vector long long which is storing the hash of every index in a slice with zero and and the power also to calculate the efficiently power before using it so which is of same length in a slice with one and then i will iterate over the array from one to n for every index and what is the hash value of 0 so hash of value of 0 simply equal to value of nums of 0 and then i will store every hash value in i how it is calculated has value of at index i is calculated at has value previously into base value okay and which is added with the current nums this is given the hash value so to get uh, reduce of out of bound we can use the modulo value and how it is power is calculated simply as power at i is equal to power value at previous and simply it is multiply with the base value uh, make sure that you you have used the modulo so that it will be within the range okay the hash value of at this index will be previous hash value into base plus nums of i and now i can simply say that if l equal to equal to zero then we can simply return the hash value of r else i have to return the hash value at right index and with subtraction of hash value at left minus one okay why left minus one like i have to get the hash value of this subarray so i have to hash value of this index minus this so it will be hash value of this subarray so minus one into power of into power of 
एल माइनस आर माइनस एल प्लस वन ओके एंड आई हैव टू टेक द मोड्यूलो एंड बिफोर सो दैट इट इज नॉट एन एगेटिव वैल्यू आई विल एड विद द मोड्यूलो एंड अगेन टेक द मोड्यूलो ओके एंड लेट्स रन दिस फंक्शन वॉट विल हैपन लेट्स सी and we have to also declare the value of n so let declare n is the nums of size and now see that we have to also declare the counter as zero so now what is the error make sure that this subarray has length less than equal to this subarray so that if i is less than equal to j okay j minus i j minus i okay and this subarray should also be j minus i j minus i should be less than equal to n minus j n minus j make sure that it has sufficient length like this lens should be less than equal to this one so that we are able to check and yeah it is running this successfully and if we submit that now uh, why it is giving the error let's see so if i use this test case i minus 1 i think it will be r minus l plus 1 the power and if i use this maybe r minus r minus l plus 1 so it should be plus 1 and j will be from 0 to n every time i will check if it is greater than or equal to not and j minus 1 to i to i plus 1 minus 1 and uh, else if it is taking so what's the error is that i by every time i increase j will be from i plus 1 to j less than n to j plus plus and if it is this j minus 1 get has values to i plus 1 minus 1 and in this case also from i to j minus 1 okay so if it is equal okay here this would be n minus 1 okay not n minus 1 minus j i think mm -hmm. the whole length minus j pointer Okay, let's use this test case also. But it is giving some error. I don't know why. And let's see where is the error. If this has value is equal to i plus 1. It is sufficiently has value of this if it is minus one let's suppose so what's the error if i use yeah if there is an error oh my god this should be i minus one power is at i calculated the power of i minus one into base modulo and now let's submit it and yes it is successfully accepting thank you for watching the video